What's up guys, Solid Anthony, and today I'm gonna to show you how to transform this used and abused Evo 9 steering wheel. So we're gonna turn that into this. So jumping straight in, this package was sent out by Auto Interior Technic. Thank you guys so much. This wrap is amazing and surpassed all my expectations. So getting into the unboxing here, we have some double-sided tape, which is very thin and transparent, and you'll see why we need that here in a minute. Now next up is some instructions here. These are helpful because they got pictures, guys, and I'm a picture guy. I don't like to read text, and they show you how to do everything from the threading uh, to the stitching to tying everything off at the end uh, if you're like me and don't know how to tie a knot. So this thing right here looks like a putty knife but isn't actually a putty knife at all. This is used to tuck away any excess fabric from the steering wheel into the cracks of the wheel if needed. Next, I'm going to pop this bubble wrap here because I'm a big kid and that's what I like to do, but I also have a short attention span, so I'm pretty much done with that. So in this bag here, we have the rest of everything we need, including the wrap itself. And then in here, I was pretty impressed to see that it came with a pair of scissors. I mean, how many other wrap companies uh, for steering wheels are going to send you a pair of scissors? I thought that was uh, pretty cool. Um, they're really nice. Um, they are sharp so I don't recommend touching them like I just did there. Uh, now, going to the next thing is the threading. So depending on what color threading you choose, uh, they'll send you out the appropriate color. I chose red as my threading color and it looks really good. All right, so time for the main event here, the wrap itself. This thing is extremely high quality. I went with the Japanese micro suede. However, you can also choose Alcantara if you choose. Uh, what's really cool is they make this easy. They put markings to show you where the windshield is, where the driver is. So if you do install this on the car, uh, you can't really get it wrong. They make it extremely easy. Uh, what I like is just, I mean, just how high quality all of the stitching feels around where these spokes go, and especially the center stripe here. It's almost like a separate piece that they sewed in, uh, and it just pops. The color looks good, it feels good, and it matches the rest of the wheel uh, that I was really happy about. Now, what's cool is they put their logo here at the very bottom, so you don't actually see this on the wheel, but it's kind of nice to know it's there, and it looks pretty good. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and clean this wheel up. I'm gonna be using some Griot's interior cleaner. I like this stuff because it removes all the oils and any type of residue from my hand. Uh, I didn't use this wheel personally, but it was pretty gunked up as leather is porous and tends to hold on to pretty much anything and everything. So a quick little clean and it is ready to go. However, it does not fix my leather uh, deteriorating by any means. So a quick look at the instructions here to see what I need to do and where I, what I need to start. So I'm gonna start with these plastic clips on the front of the wheel. These things do pop off. You just kind of have to wiggle them back and forth a little bit. Just be careful because they are plastic and you don't want to break them. Uh, but you have three of these clips. Uh, we're not removing the backs of them, just the front. The backs are pretty much glued on and they don't need to come off. The fronts are the only thing that we need to remove. So remember that double-sided tape I was telling you about? Well, here we go. We're going to get started on this. So this stuff is uh, pretty cool, man. It's, it's really thin. Uh, and you're gonna use a decent amount of it, but simply just stick it on and you'll peel off the back once we get to the actual wrap portion. Uh, but what they say to do is to pretty much put this on all the major grip points of a steering wheel. And in my opinion, that's pretty much every point. So what I did is I pretty much cut off a ton of pieces and I just, I just stuck things everywhere. I put it on the back, I put it on the front, I put it on the grip points and I wanted it to make sense because if that's where I'm putting my hand or somebody else is putting their hand, it's, you know, it's gotta stay tight. Now, if you're like me, you're wondering, well, how does that wrap keep from rotating around on the wheel, right? Unless you just have a wickedly tight uh, wrap, you do need some tape on here and that's where the stuff makes sense. So putting it there and then of course, um, we're gonna go ahead and take a piece and put it on the inside of the wrap itself, kind of where that center stripe is, and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. There we go. And we're gonna test fit this wrap on here. Getting it on there, it's pretty tight, um, but you'll see why it needs to fit snug, just so you can mock it up. And once you do get it mocked up with your appropriate lengths on each spoke, that's when we're gonna start removing this excess tape here. 
um, and that exposes the adhesive side. So that's when we can start actually getting some traction and start sticking it on there. Now, what I did is I uh, basically unstuck most of it and worked a little bit at a time, and then I lined it up like you can see here, and I got it to where I got the center stripe on there pretty, uh, pretty snug, and then just started working my way around the rest of the wheel. Now for the threading, we do need to burn off one end here, and this is after you tie a small little knot. So we're gonna clip that off here, and this is where the thread technically starts on the spoke. Now you do need to measure out the threading, and typically how you do this is you measure two to three times the length of the spoke here. So I'm just kind of going back and forth with my hand to see you know, how much extra slack that I need, uh, and this was a pretty easy way to do it. Now all you have to do here is be more coordinated than I am and loop this through this uh, this little needle here, which isn't actually so little at all. It's a pretty big needle. And we're gonna go ahead and start the threading. So you're gonna go through the actual wrap itself. I'm looking here at the instructions because I'm trying to verify that I'm doing this correctly. So once you get your base knot tied, you can start stitching it through every single stitch. Uh, now the reason why I did this is to create a tighter uh, tighter feel around the end of the spoke and then once I get past that that's when I started going to every other stitch diagonally so I kind of started going back and forth through here and um, again guys I've never sewn anything in my life uh, this is the first time attempting this and I learned a skill called patience uh, but it was totally worth it I was able to get this done and it looked really really good now for here again I am going back and forth through every stitch Again, this just makes for a tighter overall feel. Um, and you definitely want to make sure you have enough material to do this. So like when it says measure two to three times, I would say go for the higher end of measuring three times the length of the spoke just because truly, I, I mean, if I only had measured twice, I don't think I would have been able to do such a tight stitch here uh, towards the end of the spoke. Yeah, so here's the knot part. Uh, not the easiest thing in the world because I didn't give myself enough threading and I was trying to tie basically a small little baby knot here. I did make it happen, but if you had some extra threading, you could definitely make this easier for yourself. So after you clip that, we're gonna go ahead and cauterize that, which is a little stressful as well because you don't wanna burn your nice fancy new micro suede. So try to keep the flame away and only keep it there for like a quick second and then uh, move on. Don't sit there like I did and nitpick over it because you definitely will burn something. Yeah, don't do this. Just one and done. Don't do what I just did. All right, so one side is done and it looks freaking awesome. So the biggest thing that I learned is you want to have equal tension every time you pull that thread through. Um, I know that might not make sense right now, but when you start threading it, if you don't keep the same amount of tension, then your threading pattern can change or kind of warp a little bit. Just make sure you're putting an equal amount of pressure here, getting it nice and tight, giving a nice little pull, and then pulling it through the other side and giving that same amount of pressure uh, on that pull. So you can see here, I'm actually doing a better job on the left-hand spoke than I did in the right-hand spoke. But again, this just kind of came with a little bit of experience uh, and still turned out pretty good. All right, so the bottom spokes are done now and look awesome. This is kind of right when the wheel starts to come together and you can get a good feel of what it's actually going to feel like. And you'll see what I mean by that tape underneath makes a huge difference because if you didn't have that tape under there, that would be rotating around the wheel itself and it is nice and snug and tight. Uh, and really, it, it, it feels like a completely different wheel in the best way possible. That's, that's the best way to describe it. So starting here on the top, this is where you really need to measure out a ton of thread because on this top spoke here, uh, it's, I mean, it's big. It's basically twice the size as those lower spokes. So you're gonna have to measure, again, two to three times that amount, but again, go for the higher end. So I went like three, three and a half times the length of that threading and you will have plenty of threading. Trust me, you're gonna have, you're gonna have extra, which is nice. So don't, don't, get a, don't get stingy with your threading here. I'm going through here, tying it tight, uh, and getting ready to wrap the rest of this.
All right, so here on the center stripe, what I did is I was actually going every other thread and I decided to go back and do every thread because on that center stripe, I wanted it to be nice and snug and tight. And that was, uh, that was a good idea on my part because uh, basically, if that were to have been every other thread, that center stripe would have actually been a little diagonal or a little wonky. Uh, it's best to go through every thread once you get to that point. So for about an inch, inch and a half, I was doing every thread and then I moved back on to every other thread. Now after this threading was done, just like the other spoke, tie it off, burn off the edge and then grab your little putty knife here and we're gonna go back through and start tucking in the excess material. Now one thing I did here is um, I didn't follow the instructions and start with just beginning to tuck. Uh, basically what I saw is that I had plenty of excess material like you can see in this shot here and I don't think it was any fault of Auto Interior Technic. I think that I was just being a perfectionist so I did actually cut a little of that micro suede off to get it to where it lined up uh, to fit my OCD levels and I just used a little X-Acto knife and then from there I was able to tuck everything in to get it absolutely perfect. So finishing up the wheel here, you will have some leftover stuff here that you can save for a rainy day or if you have to ever make any repairs. But overall, guys, this wheel looks incredible. I mean, literally, I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. Auto Interior Technic makes an outstanding product. Uh, this micro suede feels so nice. It completely changed this wheel. And what's crazy is that I still have the stock wheel in my car and this was an additional Evo 9 steering wheel I had. Uh, but I, like I said, this was just beyond my expectation on how nice this was. And I've gotten so many compliments from people that have seen this wheel on Instagram. And when I took it to work, they just absolutely loved it. So again, if you guys like this, you can definitely check out Auto Interior Technic. I will put the link in the description below so you guys can check out their products and their website. They have tons of stuff for the Evo 9, everything from the steering wheel cover to the shift boot, to the e-brake boot, and to the armrest cover. So you'll be able to pretty much uh, mod your entire interior with Micro Suede or Alicantara. So anyways, guys, I had a good time making this video. It's my first attempt at a voiceover. Sorry if I talked a lot, but I want to make this informative and add my own commentary because I've never really done that before. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe for more. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. It's all day, Anthony. Peace.